Hey everyone, it's Bethany, and in this video I'm going to be making a cute little sign for our playroom. I'm going to be putting some HTV or iron-on on painted wood, and I'm going to be applying it with the Easy Press Mini. So I have this little wooden sign that I have painted with chalk paint, and I painted it about a week ago, so it's very, very dry. And I'm going to also put this nice pale blue color on the um, wood. I think it's going to be really pretty, and I have a measuring tape to make sure that everything is sized accordingly. And I have an easy press mat as well as a little towel because I do have a hollow base in my little sign here. So I'm going to try and see if having a towel in there to build it up will just help with retaining the heat during pressing. So let's go ahead and make sure that we have everything sized how we want it and I'll show you the design we're going to be using in Design Space. So we are going to be having a width of 5.75 and then a height of 10 inches. So let's go ahead and hop into Design Space. I'll show you the SVG that I'm using and I'll also link it in the description box below in case you want to purchase it yourself and I'll share the website where I purchased it from. I'll also place all the other materials in the description box below just in case you want to take a closer look at anything or if you want to recreate this own look at your craft table as well. All right everyone let's get started. Okay, so here's the SVG that we're going to be using. Again, I'll put it in the description box below in case you want to purchase it yourself as well. And I'm just making this for our playroom. I think it's going to look really, really cute. So I am going to show you that they actually give you two different versions of the file. One um, is has the little leaves all filled in and then the other one has the leaves all hollow. So I think I'm going to use the hollow leaves. I think they're really, really pretty. So how I will um, use just one is I will come up here to ungroup. That way they are both individual and then I can just delete the one that I'm not going to use. So I'm left with this one. Okay, now I'm going to go over to my shapes and I'm just going to recreate my sign. That way I know how big I can size my um, design for the wooden sign I'm using. So I'm going to go up to the width and I'm going to type in 5.75. And for my height, I'll do 10 inches. And then I will go ahead and just make this white for visual purposes. And then I can say send to front. And then I can drag this over here. I can make this a nice blue color because we're using a blue um, color uh, iron on. And then I will go ahead and unlock this and I can kind of just manipulate this just a little bit to see how I want that to fit. And I think that looks really good just like that. I might make that just a tad bigger, but that looks good to my eye. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and lock that again, and I can go over here and hide this rectangle now because I don't need it any longer. I just wanted to use it for sizing purposes. I'm going to be using my Explore Air 2, so I'll go ahead and click Make It. And then what I'm going to do is I need to attach everything. So if you click Make It without attaching, I'm glad that did that did this because then you can see um, my mistake here. But I don't want it to cut like this because I don't want to have to replace everything together in their perfect places. I would not do a good job, I'm sure of it. Um, so I need to go ahead and attach these. So I'm going to go ahead and click cancel. And how we fix that is we're just going to drag and we're going to come down here to the attach button and say attach. Okay, now we can go ahead and say make it. And then you'll see that it's placed exactly like you see it in the cut file right on the mat and it will cut it exactly like you see it. So now I can go ahead and say mirror. And now it's going to mirror my image because we are working with iron on. And then I can say continue. The material I'm using is actually Caesar Easy Weed, but the setting will be everyday iron on. And then I can go ahead and load my mat and get cutting. Okay, so I have my material shiny side face down on the mat. I'm going to go ahead and load my machine and get cutting. Okay, so I have my little piece of HTV already, and if I say HTV or iron-on, it is the same thing. Those terms are actually used interchangeably, so sometimes I tend to go back and forth. Um, Cricut calls it iron-on, and then um, other brands call it HTV, so sometimes it's just tricky to remember which one to say, but I'm going to go ahead and start weeding out my material here, and I have my Easy Press all preheated. I preheated it to medium. So that one is all ready to go. And Easy Weed is definitely holding up to its name because it's honestly amazing to work with. It weeds so easy. And um, I just love working with it. Okay, so now that I have my background all removed, I'm just going to go through and 
get all the little middle pieces out. So I'll be focusing on those little leaves because again, the file that I chose had the little hollow um, middles of the leaves. I think those are gonna look really, really pretty. I think it just adds a little visual interest. But again, remember it comes with the two different versions. And then I'm also going to focus on the letters because we need to make sure that the middles of the letters are all weeded out. So we'll do this. I'll also place a link to a video that I just did um, where I did HTV or iron on on a wooden sign as well. And um, I did a bathroom word search. It is so cute. If you did, if you missed it, I'll link it because it's something you're definitely going to want to see. It turned out so fun. It took a while to make um, and you'll see why in the video, but it turned out really sweet. And I think it's a really fun little addition to our house. So these little middle pieces of the leaves are very easy to weed out. You're just gonna wanna make sure that you get all of them. And so just take your time, make sure you're really looking. It's also helpful to flip your design once you're done just to really see where you still need to get um, little pieces out. And Okay, so I'm just getting the final few pieces out and it looks really, really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip it on my mat and then you can see it right side up. And then also it helps me to really just kind of scan through my design. I like to do it with my weeding tool or your fingers, fine too. Um, it just helps focus the eye so you can really make sure that you got all the little pieces out, but it looks good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my space and then I'm gonna grab a piece of parchment paper as well and we can start pressing. Okay, so since my little wooden sign has a hollow insert, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of fold this little towel up and place it in there just to help kind of retain some of that heat in there so it helps with the ironing on process. So I'm gonna do that in that top portion and then I'll move it down for when I press the bottom portion as well and then I'll place both on my mat. So I'm gonna go ahead and place my design where I want it. One of the nicest things about iron-on is once you place it, you can bring it back up too. So unlike adhesive vinyl, adhesive vinyl, once you set it down, you're pretty much guaranteed that that's where it's gonna be. Um, and there's really not a lot of forgiveness with it, but with iron-on or HTV, you can peel it back up very easily. So I'm just finding out where I want that. That looks really good. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place a little piece of parchment paper just over it while I'm pressing, just to give a little added protection with that painted wood. Okay, so I'm again at medium heat, and then I am going to be doing constant movement for 40 seconds and firm pressure. So I'm going to just um, keep moving it, and then you can use a timer on your phone. The little Easy Press Mini doesn't have a built-in timer like the Easy Press, the big Easy Presses do, so you can count or do whatever, but I like to do sections. So I'll show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna focus on just the leaves, then I'm gonna focus on just the bless, then this, then mess, and then the other set of leaves, just because it'll just help me focus where I need to actually be placing my um, heat. Okay, so I'm at about 40 seconds for that top portion, so I'm just gonna move down to the next little section and work on the little word blessed. And I just find it easiest because then I just, know that I have hit all of those little places with heat. It's easier than trying to do all of it at once. But if you like to do it all at once, then definitely do it the way that you like best. But this just kind of helps me focus on where I'm applying my heat. Okay, so I have the top vine and then the bless and this done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this down and I'm going to just bring that little Paper, um, a towel down in there and just move it down so that I can work on the next section. I'm going to place my parchment paper right back over and then I'm going to work on the next word. Now remember with the Easy Press Mini it is intentionally designed to move so you want to do constant movement with it. Okay so I'm all done pressing so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove my little parchment paper. I'm also going to remove 
the little towel from underneath. I think that really actually worked out really, really nice. It's nice and warm, so I know that it was effective because the heat was getting on there. So I'm just gonna let this cool for a second. It actually says to do a warm peel, but I kinda wanna do a little bit closer to a cool peel. So I'm just gonna let it cool down just a bit, and then I'll go ahead and peel it up. Okay, so it still is fairly warm, and I did a couple little peels up on the side just to double check and it looks like it's doing a good job so I'm going to go ahead and peel it while it's fairly warm and I'm just going to monitor everything and make sure that I don't see anything that is peeling up as I pull away this carrier sheet but it looks like it's perfectly laid down so that did a really really great job. I want to say actually that I may prefer using the mini easy press for this Okay, everyone, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you thought this turned out really, really cute. I think this is going to be a really fun addition to our playroom. I also want to mention it's probably going to be a really fun addition to a craft space, too. So if you wanted to put this in your craft room and say, bless this mess, because let's be honest, I'm sure everybody has a crafty mess in their craft space just like I do. So, all right, everyone, I will see you in the next video. Be sure to share this video if you would want to inspire someone else to create this, too. All right, everyone, have a good day.